Welcome to our devotion for today. Our devotion is just simply called The Silence of a Whisper. And I've been thinking about this one because as I prepare for sermons, as I prepare for meditations or devotions, I always take a moment to pray before I begin. And I ask God to give me the words that he would have me to say to his people, the words he would have me to use. And sometimes those words come very quickly and I can hardly get them down quick enough. And sometimes they come with resounding clarity. And the first time through is what I have. Other times the words come far more slowly. And sometimes I have to admit that they are hard to hear. In those moments when they're hard to hear, I've discovered that it's not always God who's not responding, but sometimes I'm not listening as I should, or I'm not hearing what I should be hearing. There are other times when God does not respond right away or at all sometimes because I think I'm not ready to hear what he has to offer me. Something else has to happen in the day or something else has to happen before I can really hear what he wants me to hear. And sometimes it just takes a while for the words to come. When it happens that the words are slow in coming, I have to remember a few verses of admonitions from the scriptures, like the one from Psalms that says that we need to be still and know that I am God. And it simply reminds me that the words are not my words. They don't come from me. They come from God. And I have to sit in God's presence and listen to what God's offering to me before I can turn that and offer it to someone else. For the words are God's, and God will impart to us what he wills as he wills it. I need to be still and I need to wait. I need to calm my spirit. I need to calm my mind. And first, just be in that place in God's presence. There's a wonderful feeling of just sitting and absorbing the presence of God. And in that moment, realizing that nothing else really matters but to be in God's presence. Because really the truly important thing is God. And we all have a need to just be still for a moment or so and experience that presence of God. We need to allow God to touch our lives with a love before we can live that love. And there's another passage that reflects this as well. It's the passage from Kings where Elijah encounters God on the mountain. And Elijah has run off and hidden because he feels his life is threatened and he is encountering many, many difficulties in attempting to live the life that God has asked him to live as a prophet. And now, Elijah is the only prophet left in Israel. So God is going to show him who he is. And he asks Elijah to go and stand on the mountain as he passes by. And the passage reads, <clears throat> And God said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Now there was a great wind. 
so strong that it was splitting the mountains and breaking rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, sheer silence. I love that description of God's presence. We would think of God, creator of all, as the great and mighty wind. We think of, of God as having the power of an earth-shaking, quaking experience. We think of God as a purifying, refining fire. But in that moment, God was none of those things. We're told that God is found in that sheer silence. And think about that. We look for God in so many places. We look for God in, in, the, in the great and the wild and, and the, the exhilarating and, and the wonderful and, and the powerful. But he was found in that sheer silence. And where do we find sheer silence? We're told he was found in the still small voice. And other translations use different terms and words. Some say God was found in a delicate whispering voice. Some say a soft whisper of a voice. And perhaps my favorite, the silence of a whisper. God is found in the silence of a whisper. What that tells me is you have to wait for it. You have to be in God's presence first, waiting to hear him speak. You have to be attentive to what he's going to say. You must long for it. And you have to be quiet yourself in order to hear it. A great and mighty wind might be impressive. An earthquake might be resounding, a roaring fire may all describe an aspect of God, but while they may portray an image of an awesomeness, they leave us missing something. They portray a raw power. They portray a sense of fear of the Almighty. But that still small voice that silence of a whisper, that's what you find when you're in that place with God. Just you and God. It's in that place where you find the love of God shared one-on-one, -on -one, where you have that assurance that God is right there. It's the absolute desire of God to speak love to our hearts and souls 
with gentleness and with warmth. And it's more of a feeling than a thought. And it's only found when we sit in that pure presence of God and listen attentively for that silence of a whisper. And when those words come, then we're better able to know them and hear them and experience them because we know it's from that direct relationship we have with God and it's ours. Let us pray. Let us unite our hearts in God. Lord, give us those moments when all else falls away and we are just in your presence waiting attentive listening loving just being in your presence waiting for those words that are the silence of a whisper heard with our hearts spoken directly to us for those things Lord we rejoice and we wait. Amen.